I'm pretty chuffed today, pretty pleased with myself, feeling very good, heart wide open, because I'm in a local village in Thailand and I saw these two beautiful dogs, beautiful little puppies, I mean so, so young. And respectfully, I know it's a different culture, but they're basically being kept in an empty freezer with the lid off and just like an, a, basically like an empty bucket, but a, a, a big enough bucket to be like a dog cage, so to speak, at least when they were not being played with and they were just resting. So they were safe, right? The, uh, the people had the best intention. But um, every time they put the dogs in there, they were just crying. I mean, they're so young and I just, it made me feel like, imagine if you were a baby in a room with four walls and, uh, and, and nothing to see. I mean, that would be traumatizing. So like most things in Thailand, not costing very much, I, uh, I decided to build them a home. So I got the locals to basically build a, a cage that's been uh, in the making for the last 48 hours uh, and of course uh, one thing i love about thailand is when you want work being done the locals because generally speaking uh, the uh, the locals are quite poor generally speaking or a lot of the locals so to be able to give them work they're so grateful so there's just this overflow of gratitude uh, let me see if i can find one of the dogs and now I, now I know that they're going to have a happy home. And like I said, it's not that they're bad people. It's just they're doing the best they can with what they have and the resources they have and the money that they have. So the fact that I have built in this cage, everyone's excited now because they're like, man, these, these dogs are going to have a very good life now. Um, and once again, it's not for the dogs to live in. It's when, they're, when they need to be uh, kept safe. I don't want to get this one because he's sleeping. Let me see if I can find another one. But yeah, super happy. You know, there's a, a video that I did the other day of feeding a homeless person. And uh, the title of the video was, it really doesn't take a lot to make a big difference. And it really doesn't, you know. Whether it's a bit of money, a smile, uh, just, just make a difference wherever you can. Whether it's to a person's life or a dog's life or even your own life. Anyway, there he is. Here's the one that's awake. I also got them some collars yesterday. Come here, boy. Look at that, baby. Mm. Chip, chip. Chip, no. Chip, no. And here's the other one. Unfortunately, he's got a little bit. Come here, boy. His leg is hurting a little bit. I hope that he recovers. Hello, pretty boy. I think this is the one that kisses me. Hey, Chip, no. Chip, chip. Anyway. In Buddhism, it teaches us in the Dharma, it teaches us about good deeds and merit and how when we do good deeds in life, good will always come back to us. And uh, this is the point of me sharing this video. I like sharing experiences that make me come alive, that light me up. But also I hope it encourages you to, to do some good deeds. Because like a, a Buddhist monk told me when I was ordaining as a monk for my life experience, uh, he said to me, just keep doing good and good will keep coming. Peace and love.